Welcome to Volumetics webinar on our April 9. My name is Jesper Peterson. I'm a sales manager here at Volumetic, and I'll be your host today. I also have with me today our technical director, John Bugensen, who will participate a bit later on in the session. Just some practical information. We have a lot of participants on today, so you're all muted. If you do want to ask a question, feel free to do so in the Q&A section. We will go through some of the questions at the end of the webinar, and you're welcome to ask any of the questions uh, anonymously if you prefer. The webinar will be recorded, and we will share a link to the video as well as collect all incoming questions and share the answers with the participants. Quick overview of the agenda today. We'll start off with a short introduction of our apron line. Then we will go through a video of a recently built apron line with some specific features and options. And as mentioned before, we'll go through a Q&A section in the end. First, an uh, overview of Rollomatic e equipment. We have a wide range of solutions for production of all kinds of bags on roll. We also have winders for industrial film, of winding of large rolls up to 2.2 meters. We have our preparation series for production of, for example, uh, tablecloths and ta table covers and drop cloth. And if you want to add a high degree of automation, we also have packing solutions. But our main focus today will be on the apron line. The apron line was designed for production of disposable aprons on roll with an un with virgin or recycled PE, bio-based or compostable film. You're able to use it inline as well as outer line with a unwind, and we have production speeds of up to 160 meters per minute. It is available for production in one and two lanes, and you have many possibilities of film profile. You can run one or two tubular films, one or two open films, or one or two single layer film. The apron model consists of a rotary uh, punching with an integrated extraction for cutout. The cutting is done by flexible dies fixed on a magnetic roller, which makes it very easy to change uh, the pa cutting pattern or mirror the pattern. The line is equipped with our motorized die adjusting system, which makes it possible to adjust the dies with one micron precision without even stopping the line. This feature is specifically appreciated by our customers running in line. Some of all these features we'll show in the, uh, the video in a, in a moment. You can also equip the apron line with several options. For instance, we have the option of, of running both with core and coreless. And if you want to produce the printed aprons, we can add print mark registration to make sure that the prints are positioned correctly. And you also have the option of finishing the rolls with paper tape or pack it in pre-printed uh, PE sleeves. Now we'll show you a video of an apron of a two-lane apron line that we built for a client in UK. It takes approximately six minutes. And during the video, you're welcome to type in any questions that you might have. We'll go through all the questions afterwards. Welcome to the Rollomatic Workshop. The machine we'll show you today is a new development. It produces disposable aprons on a roll and was developed to meet the need for personal protection equipment for the coronavirus outbreak. The aprons look like this. We have uh, two uh, solutions, one solution for uh, one lane production and another solution for dedicated two lane production. And uh, today I'll be joined by our service technician Ulrich, who will assist us during the presentation. The line consists of an unwind with two rolls. 
and you have the possibility of uh, different uh, f film profiles coming into the, the, the production line. First one is a large tubular film. You have the possibility of two single tubular films, two open films, one single sheet, or two smaller single sheet. The next line, or the next module in the line is the uh, V-fold, where you fold the actual the film, going further into the actual apron module. The line has two apron models because it's two lanes. Everything through the apron modules going further on into the winder. The apron model will be the one that we'll focus on today. The cutting is done with the flexible die attached to a magnetic roller. Ulrich, can you please show how easy it is to change the dies? Changing the dies is, uh, is an easy task. Um, a die is a thin sheet of metal that can be applied to our magnetic roller. It is simply just added on to the magnetic roller, as you can see, and it stays there quite solid after it's attached. Other advantages of the dies is that it has a very short delivery time, and it's quite cost efficient, as well as it's long lasting. Ulrich, how long does a die typically last? A, a die typically lasts uh, one to two million cutouts, all depending on the film uh, and the quality, the, the purity of the film. Is it uh, virgin or, or um, recycled material? Good. Ulrich, can you please start up the machine? Yep. Another great feature of our cutting system is the possibility of electronically adjusting the, the cutting plates. Ulrich, can you show how the electronic adjustment is done? The, when after we change the dies, uh, of course we have to, uh, to reset the, the, the gap between the anvil roller and the magnetic roller, so we get the correct pressure on the die. Um, for that we have electronic adjustment done via the HMI where we can do individual adjustment from side to side, or we can run it up in parallel. So we bring both sides closer together or further away from each other at the same time. Each, each uh, pressure on, on each button will adjust one micron. So adjustment is very, very fine and accurate. When we change the dies, we can, we can choose to open it up to a default setting, so we know exactly where we are before we start adjusting the pressure again on a new set. Ulrich, this can also be done with inline production? This can also be done with inline production. Uh, we, we would do a, a slight modification compared to the auto line, where we would have the option to open uh, open the, the safety guard during film is running, but with, with extra um, security measures for, for nips and, and uh, accesses that can't be started at, this, at that time. The apron module is also equipped with an extraction uh, function, as you can see in the picture here. It will remove the, the cutout further on into a ventilation system if you have that installed. The line can also be equipped with several different options. For instance, you can have print registration if you want to do prints on your apron to ensure that they're placed correctly. You also have the possibility of packing everything in sleeves. You can run everything cordless or you can do it with core as well. Ulrich, thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. And thank you for watching.
This brings us on now to our Q&A section, and I'm now joined with uh, our technical director, John Pugensen. Welcome, John. And I see we already have a, a bunch of questions come in. Let's just uh, jump into it. Yeah, the first one. Uh, which material can I run, and what is the minimum, maximum uh, thickness? Well, um, most of the material that, that we run would be uh, PE, uh, but but there could be other variations as well, either uh, a paper bag PE or, or other plastic types. Um, uh, and the max minimum thickness, uh, minimum is is uh, really down to, to about six micron. Uh, but I would say in, in, in real life, uh, thickness would probably be from about 10 micron and, and up to about 30 micron. That is the normal range. Uh, but we can go up to, to, to 50, 60 micron if, if needed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one is, can I retrofit my old line so it will be possible to make apron? Yes, you can uh, install the apron module in, in an old line uh, and, and, and make aprons. Uh, if you have uh, an old t-shirt line uh, already being able to run t-shirt bags, it could be possible to, uh, to make modifications so you can make simple aprons, uh, not with a large uh, uh, strip cut out, but just with a straight cut uh, for, the, for the tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a question for a price and speed for a one lane version. In terms of price, you can say that our apron lines, uh, complete apron lines start at around uh, 210,000 euros. Um, speed wise, we are able to do a, a one lane up to 160 meters as well. Next question, can I run one tubular film and split it into two lane in the center? Yes, that is one of the options as, as uh, shown in the video. There's uh, quite a few options for, uh, for film profiles, either one turbular, two turbular, uh, two V folded, or, or one uh, single seat or two single seat. So uh, you basically have all the options uh, mm -hmm. you may want. Yeah. Next question here. Can you also offer a packing solution for the apron rolls? sleeve or carton? There's, uh, there's actually both possibilities. Uh, we do have uh, both a, a carton packer and also uh, a sleeve packaging machine uh, that could be used. Um, so uh, so that's, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My question on the lifetime of the cutting plates. Uh, as, as mentioned in the, the video, the, uh, the normal lifetime on, on the flexible dies is from, from uh, 1 million and, and up to uh, actually over 2 million. Uh, you would be closer to 1 million if you're running uh, uh, recycling material, uh, if there's a lot of debris in the material, or, and if you're running, uh, let's say, high percentage of, of calcium carbonate. Uh, if you're running uh, biomaterials or you're running a virgin, then you would be closer to 2 million and, and in, in some cases also above. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also is a question on, on the material here. Can you use a recycled PE or only virgin? No, you, you can use a recycled yeah. PE, yes. Mm -hmm. And there's a question on lead time of the flexible dies if I want to make my own cutting design. The lead time would normally be uh, about two weeks. Uh, if, if you're in an emergency, uh, we, we can do it in about one week. Mm -hmm. My question here also on the cutting, uh, how long time will it take to exchange them? The, uh, the changeover is really quick. Uh, that would take about five minutes. Uh, and here you have two uh, punch modules in, 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 uh, in, the, in the two lane version. So that would be about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question: I assume that the operation cost will be higher running flexible dies compared to fixed dies. No, actually not. Uh, the, the operation cost is actually quite a bit lower uh, running uh, flexible dies. If we compare uh, pricing on flexible dies with, uh, with the solid uh, uh, anvil roller, oh, sorry, not anvil, but cutting roller, uh, then there would be a, a, about half price for uh, 
for, for the uh, or less for for the flexible dyes, mm -hmm. and that is not even uh, encountering uh, the time you lose when you have to take the uh, the punch rollers, the solid punch rollers, out of the unit and install uh, new ones. Mm -hmm. So so it's actually uh, it's quite a bit cheaper and it's 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 much more flexible. Yeah. And the question here, and how is it possible to do a motorized adjustment of the cutting depth with one micron accuracy? That was also the question we asked ourselves uh, quite a while back, and uh, we actually developed a system that could do that. And we also have a, a patent on, on this system. Uh, the, the, the key feature is not really that it can do one micron uh, adjustments. Uh, the, the, the very interesting thing is that it can actually go back to the same precision, uh, even if you have adjusted it way out. So re repeatability is extremely good on the system mm -hmm. and accuracy is actually better than one micron, but we have uh, set it to one micron steps in, in, in the software. Next question here, will it be possi possible to make hairdresser tapes on the line? That will also be possible. Uh, the, the, the hairdresser capes are slightly different from uh, from the aprons, um, but basically it's just a different uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then a question here: Can I make big T-shirt sacks on the apron? If so, what do I need in addition? The module can also be used for for making uh, T-shirt sacks. Uh, of course, you don't have any sealing uh, unit or, or gusseting station in, in, in this line here, so you would need to add that. But uh, by adding that, uh, you certainly could make a t-shirt tax. Mm -hmm. And here at Christian 10, the unit run with other brand of equipment, and, and I assume it's the, um, the apron unit? Yeah. Uh, yes, that, that, that will be possible. Uh, the apron uh, module here is, uh, is a standalone module with its own control system. So you can install it uh, in line or outer line with, with, with the other brands of, of equipment. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get a, a better integration, better efficiency if you, you do it uh, all in with the same brand, because then you have full communication between the modules and, and you also have a fully, fully integrated e-stops, etc. But, but it certainly is, is possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. And back to the cutting plates here. Can I can I change the cutting plates without stopping the line as I'm running in line with my extruder? Yes, th that is possible. Uh, for, for the inline versions, there's extra guarding inside the top cover. So uh, uh, the, uh, the nib rollers uh, and, and other moving parts are actually covered. And uh, the, um, the uh, punch roller is, uh, the magnetic punch roller is blocked, so you can open the guard, change the, uh, the magnetic dies, and then close the guard, and, 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 and uh, then it would actually be able to run the magnetic roller again. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. Next here, can the apron be wind on core? And if so, what core dimensions can it handle? Our winders can handle the core diameters from 25 millimeter uh, internal diameter up to, to 38 uh, millimeter. And the wall thickness would normally be about two millimeter. If we run, if we, if I run two lane, would it then be possible to rewind so that the rolls will have the same winding direction and identical? Yes, if, if you're running um, a tubular film and you slid it in the center, or you run to uh, defaulted where you have the opening uh, into the center, then you can mirror the, um, the punch, uh, the magnetic dies, and uh, then you can actually run opposite directions uh, on each side in, in the winder, so you would have completely identical rows. Mm -hmm. And there's a question here, what is the minimum number of aprons per roll? There's not really a minimum. You, you could go down to one apron per roll, but it would be at a very low line speed because the limiting factor would be the winder. So in, in real life, it would probably be from five uh, per roll and, and up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then a question here again on inline, if the machine can run inline. Yes, we already answered that one. 
Then we have a question here. Will it be possible to see the line uh, in real life and test my own material? And yes, we do have a, uh, a line available to show off here in our workshop and as well as we can test your material as well. And there's in the same range here, a question on estimated delivery time, where at the moment we are looking at about 18 to 20 weeks. And the question is uh, the price 210,000 for a complete line. Yes, that is for a complete line, including unwinder and apron module and winder as well. Next question here, can the line one with registered print? Yes, there's, uh, there's a possibility to, uh, to use our print registration system uh, on the winder so it can, can, can run uh, index print. Uh, next one here is, uh, can I move the apron unit around in the factory? Yes, it, that is also possible. Uh, of course, you have to be sure that, that where you want to install it uh, is prepared as far as connections and, and e-stops and so, but, but uh, it is designed so you can take it with the pallet carrier and just, just move it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the question here, can, machine, can the machine be used for ordinary bags or sheets? Uh, yes, uh, it can, but again, it depends a little on what you really want to make. If you're talking about bags, you would still you would need to to have uh, some kind of a ceiling mm -hmm. module. Uh, so, so again, it depends a little on what you want to make. Yeah. Next one here with inline operation, can I change the cutting plates without stopping? I guess we yeah, answered sure. that one already. Maximum speed of the line. Yeah, that's that's 160 meters. I mean, yeah. And uh, then a new one here, is there any limitation with the maximum speed or will it run the top speed within the specification? Mm, not quite sure what the, the key in the question is. Uh, you can say 160 meters a minute is, uh, is uh, what, what the uh, apron module uh, would be able to run, uh, running aprons. Uh, there could be other things where it actually could run faster, but aprons would be 160 meters a minute. Uh, but there could be other limitations in the line. Uh, that could be on the on the rewinder. If you're going to a very low number of uh, of sheets uh, or aprons per per roll, then it would lower the uh, the line speed. Yeah. And I guess that was all of the questions for now. So uh, thank you very much, John, for help and assistance here. Yeah, thank you. You are, of course, uh, welcome to visit our website where you can find uh, more information about the apron line as well as uh, our other products. You're also welcome to uh, contact me directly. Uh, my email is, is shown on the screen right now. If you have any specific questions or need anything else. As mentioned earlier, uh, we will be sending out the answers uh, questions and answers and a link to the recorded webinar as well. So that was all for today. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and enjoy the holidays. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.